after months and months and months of trial and error, um, I, I got my flash down to where I need it for the M11. Um, and I'm sure this will be work for the M10 as well and the M10R and all of them. Um, but the as much as I tried to like the LightPix Labs flash, it is completely out of the running. It just, it's too hit and miss, honestly. Um, the event flash that of my choice 100% of the time, well, 99% of the time is the Fuji EFX20 because uh, I love the small footprint on the camera. It just works. And you know, obviously it's straight manual mode. If I'm shooting a larger event, then I know I'm going to be shooting, you know, groups of people or, um, you know, three or four group kind of photos. Um, and I need that extra power. It's definitely the Leica SF40. Um, this flash works. It works in TTL very, very well. Um, you know, the battery life is actually really good on this thing, um, uh, you know, considering. But this is a great little flash. Um, you know, I'm sure the 60 is great, but you know, this on top of the camera is, it, it's okay. But I just don't like something this big on top of a Leica M. It bothers me, but it works. That being said, okay. So the, in the studio, the Godox DP 1003s that I have in here, I absolutely love these lights. The Leica branded Godox remote, not so much. Um, I've tried the single legacy, you know, the single pin legacy mode. I've tried the other mode. I've tried everything with this thing. It is too hit and miss. And it seems that it's, uh, you know, like when you half press the shutter, um, it pops. There's like something that sets this thing off. I don't know what it is. I don't have that issue with the Pro Photo remote um, on this camera. Like the Pro Photo Connect Pro for Leica, um, number one, it works in TTL mode. Um, and I use the A1. Not, I don't have the A1X or the A10. I, I just use this. TTL works spotless, you know, flawlessly with this and the Connect Pro. Um, I don't use TTL all the time. And when I don't, I know I'm not going to be using it. I'm taking the Connect. Um, and I use the Nikon branded Connect. They have the same pin set up. Obviously, they won't work in TTL mode, automatic mode, whatever you want to call it. But this small footprint on top of this camera um, is, to me, this is what it's all about. Um, I have no issues with it, you know, bumping my head or getting in the way. And it's so small and, and lightweight that I love using it. Um, I just love this little Connect. I, I wish they would do a Connect like a brand um, Connect, but you know, I don't think it's coming, um, unfortunately. But this is just, I have two of these just in case one breaks. I love them that much. Um, and they are like discounted now. But again, you know, if I'm using TTL, this is it. Uh, so, you know, that being said, on location, you know, if I only need that one light to fill in some shadows to get, you know, a nice look, um, I'm, I'm taking, now, the Avenger or the, whatever the other one's called. Um, this is the Pro Photo Click Softbox. What's nice about this is I have the Click Softbox in here, a stand. Um, it, it's everything I need right here with the flash and the camera, and that's it. I'm, I'm off and away. Um, and it works in TTL mode, and it works with manual mode. It just, and I rarely need any more flash than what the A1 and the Click Softbox have to offer, honestly, um, on location, because I'm really not, like, I'm never trying to compete with the sun. I'm trying to enhance the natural look. That's it. Um, th that's what I like. You know, if, if you are going, you know, the sad part is, is I have all this Godox gear. I have the 300, I have the 8200, um, I have a couple 100s, and, you know, this just, I don't know, it just doesn't fire all the time. Um, it's a little bit better with the TTL, um, the, the 300 and the 200 and the 100s, but it's not perfect. Um, and I miss way too many shots with it. So, you know, that being said, you know, maybe there's a firmware upgrade coming, uh, update coming. I hope there is. Um, uh, but 
it is what it is. So anyway, I hope this helps. Um, th this is my final flash setup for when I do need flash. And, and, you know, I'm at the point now where it's like, I absolutely positively have to need flash for me to take it uh, because I like shooting, you know, without flash so much now. Um, but, you know, I, I shoot too many events not to have a flash system um, at the ready. And like I said, if I just take the, the EFX 20 and I have this in a bag just in case kind of a thing, that's fantastic for me too. And, you know, location, it's either going to be, you know, the, the Connect, the original Connect, or the Connect Pro with the A1 and the Quick Soft Box. Uh, you know, for those, I just need a little bit of light. Um, anyway, thanks for watching as always, and I'll talk to you soon. Well, I figured while we're here, might as well sit up and take a shot, show you the TTL on the Pro Photo, um, the Pro Photo Connect. Then, you know, the setup for this all in one bag kind of setup for me, the run and gun bag. Um, I think it took 30 seconds, give or take a few seconds, which is fabulous. I know a lot of you have to be set up in, in a matter of seconds or the system doesn't work for you. Um, for myself, I don't care. You know, I'll take a whole minute to set up it. It wouldn't bother me. Anyway, that's the setup. Now, she's in black. I'm on center-weighted meeting metering right now because of the white background. I always go to center-weighted. She's in black, though, so it's going to pick up that black quite a bit because at center-weighted, you know, most of the thing that the camera sees is black, so it's a tiny bit overexposed. The, the, the TTL did really, really well, uh, but to me that was a touch overexposed. But if we, if she was in a, on a black background, it would be a lot worse. So all I do is go in, it doesn't even have to be in focus, you just go in and take a shot of the face in TTL mode. That's going to give you what your settings can be. You slip to manual, it'll hold that, and then you're going to have the correct exposure on the next shot. Um, you know, I, I believe most systems can do this, um, but I, I know for a fact Profoto does it. it. It does work really well, and you'll see the next shot is, I mean, it's a slight difference, but it's not overexposed. Um, you have the correct meter reading for her face versus, you know, the entire environment. Thanks for watching.